Hello everyone, this is Kevin, your entrepreneur, and Rachel Whetstone is leaving Uber. And who is Rachel Whetstone, you might ask? She was the head of communications and policy at Uber, which basically means Uber's top PR person has basically said, yeah, I, I can't save you guys from this. I am out of here. That's basically what she said. Um, she, uh, yeah, uh, she joined Uber in 2015 after having a long stint at Google of all places and came to Uber, you know, to kind of help with the PR at the time. Everybody loved Uber. Nobody had anything bad to say about Uber except for drivers, of course. And so it was like, and taxi drivers. And so things were going good. And then there's a sexual harassment claim, a couple driver lawsuits, you know, Uber, Kalanick, uh, sorry, Travis Kalanick acting like a total douche on camera and getting caught and then being a total douche when reports come up that he had escort. Like, yeah, you know, Uber really, it's exhausting to talk about Uber sometimes. Uh, she's okay. Anyway, let's look at this art article. Um, Whetstone will be replaced by Jill Hazelbaker as Senior Vice President of Global Policy Communications. Hazel Baker worked for Wheaton at Google and <laughs> so one former Uber employee, sorry, one former Uber, one former Google employee left and another Google employee that was former replaced like, wow, I can't believe how much I messed that up. <laughs> Here at the Entrepreneur, we believe in uncut videos for the most part, so stuff like that stays in. Okay, uh, let's see here. According to the article, Whetstone is the latest high-profile departure at Uber in recent weeks. Uber President Jeff Jones, who had been recruited from Target, left in March after only six months. And Ed Baker, Uber's VP of Product and Growth, left the same month. I actually forgot to report on that, guys. Ed Baker is gone. So now you know. Uh, let's see here. Whetstone is the latest high-profile departure at Uber in recent week. Oh, sorry. Uh, meanwhile, sources have told Business Insider that attracting new employees and bolstering internal morale has become increasingly difficult as the company tries to overcome its tarnished reputation. Well, no kidding. Of course it's going to be hard to get people. You think people want Uber on their resume? I mean, this was a situation where, like, Natalie Portman for years spent you know, their darndest to pretend she wasn't in Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. Like, who wants to actually admit you were in that, much less you did it two more times afterwards? Uh, anyway, Kalanick um, sent out an email to Uber employees about um, Wheatstone leaving because Whetstone, believe it or not, despite being the head of communication policy, she didn't really communicate that she was leaving very well to other Uber employees. So Kalanick, the guy you really want to be <laughs> handling your public relations, he sent out an email and he said, team, I wanted to let you know that Rachel Whetstone, who leads a policy in communication, has decided to leave Uber. Since joining in 2015, Rachel has blown us all away with her ability to get stuff done. She is a force of nature, an extraordinary talent, and an amazing player coach who has built a first-class organization. Importantly, Rachel was way ahead of the game when it came to many of the changes we needed to make as a company to ensure our future success, from promoting cross-functional teamwork to improving diversity and inclusion, which, uh, pff, on a side note, yeah, didn't you just release your diversity reports and found out that there really wasn't a lot of diversity at Uber? So, is that a win? I don't know. Her commitment to excellent in Excellence in every way is inspiring, and I'm looking forward to having her as an advisor for years to come. With many more long hikes along Skyline Trail, attached is a picture of my hike with Rach the weekend before last, which I'm not going to show. I just don't see how it's important. Rachel is passing the reins over to her longtime right hand, Jill Hazelbaker, our newly minted senior vice president of Global Policy and Communications. For those who haven't met Jill, her background is in politics, and she brings deep experience in policy, communications, and tech. Oh, great. <laughs> That's going to be helpful at this point in time. She's a great team player, terrific at setting priorities, and brilliant at seeing around corners. The policy and communications functions is incredibly strategic at Uber, and I could not be more excited about partnering with Jill to help write the next chapter. Please join me in thanking Rachel and wishing Jill all the best. So, yeah, that's a... Uh, Pretty cut and dry. Um, interestingly, in every statement, including this letter, it's been pretty clear that Rachel was the one who decided she wanted to leave. 
She didn't get fired. She wasn't ousted. She wasn't discussed whether what her, what her future at the role of the company was going to be. She just decided to leave. And again, she's the one who's been having to deal with a lot of this bad PR. You know, whenever Uber does something stupid, which is very frequently, she's one of the ones that has to get on TV and explain why they aren't stupid. Probably becomes really exhausted having to defend these companies. I get exhausted just thinking about this company sometimes. But, yeah. So, and of course, they didn't hire another outside person in. And now, apparently, it also, they all, this is also the first time where an article has admitted that Uber's having a hard time bringing people into the company. And I'm sure that is not just executives, but drivers as well. So, yeah, a lot of bad publicity. I think right now, the only thing that Uber is probably thankful for right now is that she decided to leave while everyone is still talking about the United Airlines controversy. And so maybe people won't, you know, the investors won't read this too much and like get too panicked as everyone's busy looking elsewhere. But they keep losing people. They keep losing people. And I'm going to report every single one of them that leaves if I have to, just to point out how ridiculously redundant this is getting. Anyway, that's all for this video. What do you folks think? This is a good thing, a bad thing, big deal, not a big deal. I'd like to know. Comment below. Like, favorite, share, subscribe. And as always, blame responsibly. Have a good one.